Welcome to Battlefield 4, a game where anyone can be found destroying everything in one on screen with the excessive use of explosives. Besides the rare lag spikes, let's talk about Battlefield 4 and why it's a great game, specifically what makes Battlefield Battlefield. First off are the vehicles, specifically helicopters and tanks. Helicopters are undoubtedly my favorite vehicle of all time. Cause let's face it, we all like to fly around and wreck some scrub who have no option but to run for cover. You have three types of helicopters, two of which will get you a lot of kills. And the last one is questionable. And for the sake of this video, let's forget about the transport helicopters for obvious reasons. The two that we should be talking about is, of course, your scout and your attack helicopters. Best of wishes to any of you who winds up on the server with the helicopter hog. The best way to know the difference between the two is this. Scouts have many guns for the pilot and are very agile, while your attack helicopters have rockets that can lock on and rockets that don't, but are less nimble than your scouts. Transport helicopters only have many guns on the sides for your passengers to shoot some scrubs, which become redundant since nobody really wants to stick around on a metal coffin. Let's not forget about the tanks though, the T-90s and the M1 Abrams. Grabbing one of these makes you feel unstoppable, like your Thomas the Dank Engine. You feel invincible driving one of these things. That is, until you get wrecked by some random scrub, reminding you that you're not invincible. However, being on the flip side of the coin is a whole different story. You may be running to go grab an objective or to meet up with your friend. And if you're on foot and unprepared and this full metal monstrosity shows up, it's nothing short of terrifying. Oh hell no! Tank to tank combat can be just as intense. Just make sure you're fast to get behind cover and your aim is pretty decent. And also, try to avoid those jet ramming scrubs. Holy, it's a new game. Why you have to do mad? It's quite interesting to watch some people try to run or fight back, but then there's that guy. This dude actually thought he could hide and somehow managed to slip away, when he could have just accepted his fate like this guy did. Tanks and helicopters are great. They're a blast. But what I'm about to show you is nothing compared to them. C4 has been set.
And I know the Jeep is probably not better than a tank or a helicopter, but let's be real here. It's fun to drive around, especially if you're one of these two people. And it's equally as fun if you're one of these people. I will massacre you! I will fuck you up! There's an enemy tank located. Keep your pause. What? So I'm going to be using an analogy to talk about this next vehicle in our list. It's like that friend everybody has, and he says, Oh yeah, bro, I'm a great driver. <laughs> yeah, sure. And no one lets him drive because what happened last time to Jimmy's car when he took it for a spin? Yeah. That friend. I present to you the battlefield equivalent to that friend, the PWC. The PWC is similar to the ATV. It has two seats, one for the driver and the other for the passenger to shoot. The only difference between the two is this. The ATV is drivable and the PWC is next to impossible to drive. Oh fuck, for fuck's sake! You also have your LAVs, your ground transport vehicles, your jets, and other miscellaneous vehicles. LAVs have less firepower than your traditional Thomas the Dink engine, but can still outclass them sometimes. Your transport vehicles transport your squad and others with one gun on the top to shoot anybody on foot that happens to want to blow you up. It is not meant for this. Surprise, no! Lastly, your jets from what I've seen are awesome but annoying too, and I'm not much of a jet player, but from what I've seen, you're either good or bad. And if you're bad, you're ramming people. And that's all the vehicles in Battlefield 4 that I had to talk about guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new. I spent a lot of time filming and editing, and I would really appreciate it if you guys left some support. Oh, and one last thing. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. Another one.